Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I still have a cold, so my voice is still a bit nasal, um, but I'm feeling a lot better and should clear up in a couple of days. Um, but thank you so much for all the support in the previous video. I, it was definitely a tough day for me, um, but I powered through uh, like I usually do anyway. So, um, but anyway, the Pokemon update video is actually going to come out in a couple of days, and be excited about that because you might even see uh, the first few glimpses of the new Pokemon that we're creating. So stay tuned for that in a couple of days. Anyway, um, this video is going to be about a question that I received about the uh, mob spawners that I built in the 4.23 uh, puzzle map. And you can see that I have them uh, just on the left here as a template, and I'll show you that in a, I'll show you that in a second. Um, but over here I have something else, an application of this. So I've created fountains, I've modeled fountains off of these mob spawners. You'll see what I mean as soon as I press this button. Uh, the fountain will start forming, and you can see there are cubes of water uh, coming out of the fountain, like you'll normally see in real life. Obviously, it's a little bit slower here. Uh, <laughs> that one looks a bit crazy with uh, the armor stands catching fire. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but basically, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm modeling the motion of the armor stands with uh, the or from the mob spawners on the left, and you can see it's a little bit slower now. Uh, if I just rock over here. Uh, you can see that the mob spawners aren't spawning them properly, and that's because this is actually creating a lot of lag. Um, and if I press F3, you can see that the enemy numbers are going through the roof and fluctuating incredibly fast. So, uh, the way this actually works is that I'm executing relative to the mob spawners on the left um, a summon command, and I'm summoning armor stands with uh, a cubes on their heads. Uh, obviously, these are the water cubes, and this is uh, the lava head, and uh, if I go over into spectator mode, you might be able to see them very quickly. Um, probably, maybe not. Um, the cool thing about this is that as soon as I get out of creative mode or spectator mode, um, the armor stands will all flow out like really, really well. So if I do that right now, you can see <laughs> this is really cool. Um, and that's because when I'm in spectator mode, th the game no longer detects my scoreboard value. Uh, so what happens is the armor stands stop spawning. But as soon as I go back into creative mode, the, uh, the sp they will actually come back. So that's what was happening there. All right, so if I go over here, uh, I'll give you guys as well to download in the video description so you can see how the arm stands and the uh, command blocks work. But uh, basically, these mob spawners are the key to how this actually works. So what's happening here is the mob spawners are spawning potions, uh, throwing potions with a custom uh, motion and a delay speed. So you can see the mob spawner here is actually spawning the potions over in this direction. This one's spawning over on the uh, southwestern direction. This one's in the western direction, and so on. And um, the command blocks are just summoning the armor stands with the with the MBT tags that you see over there. And basically, uh, I'm just angling them towards this fountain so they'll actually spawn in the proper proper fashion like this. So it looks pretty nice. Um, you can. You can download this world in the video description, so you can have a better look at how this works. And also leave a link to Seth Bling's Mortars filter, which actually automates this process very well. So, which is uh, kind of why I've also set up this for you. So, you'll, you'll know what I mean as soon as you watch the video. If you don't know, you haven't seen the video, uh, definitely go check that out. It's in the video description. Um, but it's basically going to automate the process. Uh, that's why I've also built these setups for you. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry my, my voice is obviously very off. Uh, but I'll get better in a couple of days. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, this concept. If you did, drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more creative content. And Pokemon update video is going to come out in a couple of days. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.